video is on division, basic and long division. Division is taking a total number of a certain quantity and evenly distributing it to a number of groups. In technical terms, you are taking the dividend divided by the divisor and your result will be the quotient. So let's take a look at this equation. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 15 represents my total quantity. And I want to divide it amongst five groups. So each group would get three pieces of candy if that's what my total was. Let's take a look at long division. In this case, my divisor would be four, which is on the outside of the division symbol. Underneath is my dividend, which is 928. And my quotient would be the resulting answer. So let's solve. Four goes into nine two times. So then I multiply four times two, which equals eight. I put my eight under the nine and I subtract it. Then I get one. I bring down the next digit, which is two. Now I want to know how many times does four go into 12? And that's three times. Again, I multiply my four times my three and I get 12 and I subtract that. 12 minus 12 is zero. I bring down my last digit, which is eight. Eight goes into, four goes into eight two times. And four times two equals eight, which is zero. I have no more digits to bring down. So my quotient or my result is four is 232. So again, I'm taking my total quantity of 928 and I divide it into four groups evenly. And each group would get 232. Sometimes division is going to leave a remainder. So let's look at this problem. Five into 637. Five goes into six one time. We multiply five times one, we get five. We subtract that from our six, which is one. We bring down our three. Five goes into 13 two times. 5 times 2 is 10. We subtract that from our 13. We get 3. We bring down our 7. 5 goes into 37 7 times. 5 times 7 is 35. And we subtract that and we have 2. There's nothing else to bring down. So our remainder is two. So we can write that as R2, or, or we can write that as two over our divisor, so two-fifths. So the answer is 127 and two-fifths. Again, our total number quantity of 637 can be evenly divided into the five groups, and each group would have 127 and two-fifths. In the comments below, let me know if there are any math topics you'd like me to cover. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share, and we'll see you next time.